Hello friends, today I will discuss about vector group test of 160 MBA 220 by 132 by 33 KB YNA0 D11 and transformer. Before going through this video, you are requested to go through my channel and please subscribe my channel and also press the bell button for notification for videos to be uploaded in future. Now what is the meaning of the vector group YNA0D11? Here uh, capital Y and capital N stand for primary is star connected while neutral is taken out. N stand for neutral. A stand for auto transformer. 0 that is in between primary and secondary there is 0 degree displacement. D11. D is denoted here in small letter that is tertiary is delta connected and leading with 30 degree angle with respect to HB and LB. The vector diagram for YNA0 D11 is shown in this diagram. Here 1 denote for primary winding, 2 denote for secondary winding or LB winding. 3 denote for tertiary or TV winding. Here 1U, 1V and 1W denote red, yellow and blue phase of the primary winding. 2U, 2V, 2W denote red, yellow, blue phase of the secondary winding or LB winding. And 3U, 3V, 3W denote for red, yellow and blue phase of the tertiary winding. Here you can see that primary and secondary winding are in phase and tertiary winding are in a 30 degree leading with the primary winding as shown in this diagram. Now for vector group test we have to sort 1u and 3u that is with red phase of primary winding with red phase of the tertiary winding and 3 phase supply is given to the 1U, 1V, 1W terminal that is red, yellow and blue phase of the primary winding. The given supply voltage in between red and yellow and yellow and blue phase and in between blue and red phase is 435 volt, 435 volt and 434 volt respectively. And we have to measure the voltage in between 1U and 3W that comes to 64.2 volt and in between 3W to N that comes to 183.5 volt and in between 1U to N which comes to 248 volt that is uh, the measure voltage in between 1U to N in, that is in between red to uh, neutral of primary winding is equal to 1U to 3W plus 3W to N. Then we have to measure the voltage in between 1W to 3W and 1W to 3V uh, and 1V to 3W and 1V to 3V as shown in the vector diagram by uh, black dotted line. The measure voltage in between 1W to 3V, uh, 3W comes to uh, 377 volt and in between 1W to 3V which comes to 436 volt and in between 1V to 3W which comes to 379 volt and in between 1V to 3V which comes to 380 volt that is we can con conclude that the measure voltage is almost equal to in between 1W to 3V in W is equal to 1V to 3W and in equal to oh, 1V to 3V and also the measure voltage in between 1W to 3V is greater than 1W no, 3W. Therefore, the condition for Y and D11 is satisfied. Then we measure the voltage in between 1U to 2U that is in between primary red phase to secondary red phase that is 99 volt. In between 2U to N uh, comes to 148.5 volt and in between 1U to N is equal to 248 volt. You can see that uh, the measure voltage in between primary red to neutral is equal to measure voltage in between sum of uh, secondary 
primary and secondary rate to neutral and primary uh, to secondary rate phase also in case of uh, measure um, the voltage in between 1v to 2v which comes to 98.5 volt and in between 2v to n which comes to 149.2 volt and in between 1v to n which comes to 247.8 volt and also we measure the voltage in uh, case of blue phase that is come um, 1w to 2w which comes to 98.7 volt and in between 2w to n which comes to 149 volt and also 1w to n which comes to 248 therefore we can see that the measure voltage in between red to neutral primary red to neutral primary yellow to neutral and primary blue to neutral is sum of measure voltage in between primary to secondary red phase plus secondary red to neutral vo voltage second primary yellow to secondary yellow and plus secondary yellow to neutral and also for blue phase primary blue to secondary blue plus secondary blue to neutral hence we can conclude that from previous condition and with this condition it is a vector group of y n a 0 d 11